Hello everybody, it's Blake from Those Internet Kids, and today I'm going to bring you an episode of Prison Architect. So, we finished the general structure of the entire prison, and I think we got all the rooms? Wait. Oh, canteens. Where's the canteen? There are no prisoners inside to eat at this canteen. Wait, what? What? <laughs> This must be a new update or something. There are no prisoners assigned to eat at this canteen. Uh, this is weird. I need to get micromanagement. This is weird. I don't remember it being like this, but eh. S people can update their games whenever they want. <laughs> It'll just screw you over sometimes. So, anyway, um, on the side note of that, what I am planning to do is get a game called Subnautica. I'm hoping I can get that sometime this or next week. And, essentially, it's a survival base building game. It's really cool. I enjoy it. I'm pretty sure you guys would enjoy it as well. And right now, I'm just wiring up the prison full with electrical cables. Uh, we need to pull one this way into the holding cell. And then a large pipe. Now, the description of this pipe says, distributes a large amount of water around your prison, probably, probably big enough to for someone to crawl to freedom through 500 yards of poop smelling foulness and that it, I'm wondering if you guys know do, can they actually escape through these pipes because if they can that would actually be kind of cool there we go there we go wire the toilets up in the normal cells and those there and now we need to do is hire Actually, I'm going to wait for the workers to finish up the electrics. Oh, did, did we lose power or? Oh, that's not there. It's, um, the, so with the capacitors, what they do is that they add these little black bars, as you see on the power thing here. I don't know what it's called, power gauge. And essentially... The more power you draw, the higher this gauge goes, and if this gauge reaches the top, the generator shuts down. And when the generator shuts down, you lose power in your prison, you also can lose water in your prison because the water station needs the electricity. So, essentially, if that happens, your prisoners can get very, very angry very, very quickly. Oh, I completely forgot. We didn't even put down paving stones. Uh, paving stones allow our prisoners and our guards to walk quick, um, quicker through the alleyways. I'm just going to get a higher janitor. Yeah, get a higher janitor. There we go. He could start cleaning the inside of the prison. Um, I think, yep, logistics is done. Um, food distribution. Okay, I don't know why you guys aren't connected. That's really weird. But essentially what I just did is that this is counted as an entire cell block. Same with this, this, and this. So I just click, and click in the canteen, and then it goes, and then there it goes. The kitchen, it works the same as well, except it's a yellow pad. Let me get it. Is it only that solitary? Or, I, I, I don't understand this one. This one I don't understand. Okay. There we go. That fixed it. Um, yeah, I think that should do for accommodations in there. In the canteen, there's no prisoners assigned to eat at this canteen, which is really weird. There. Okay. Oh, that's what I forgot. A laundry room. Do we have prison labor? Yes, we do. Oh, that's what this was. Okay. Yeah, I haven't played this in a while, so I'm still... I'm going to figure out everything. So for the laundry room, we need... A uh, laundry machine, a basket, and ironing board. Okay. And if we zoom in, these get highlighted. Uh, laundry machines, three of them. We're running low on money. 
a laundry basket. How much is this? I could buy two of these. And then, um, two of these. Can I rotate these? Yes. Okay. There we go. And I think that will do it for our prison. And I think that does it. Actually, hold on. Come on. Electric cable. Electric cable. There we go. And the pipe into here, here, and here. And I think that'll, as soon as they finish that, I think that'll do it for the prison. Now, later on, as soon as I get some more money, I will put a metal detector here. And I love metal detectors so much because of the pure fact. The power just went out. For the pure fact that it, when they pass through, pretty much anything like hammers to spoons to knives will be detected and the guards will confiscate them. Sometimes, oh crap. Uh, I can get a grant, my gosh. Um, let's see. Build a staff room, I think I already did that. Did I? There's a vegetation. Didn't build the staff room. Oh boy. We're gonna have to do health and well being, I think. Actually, what would this do? Oh, this is just completion. Okay, perfect. Ooh, now we got some money. As soon as we, um, as I was saying, as soon as we were uh, gonna get more money, which we do have, I was gonna add metal detectors. And the entire reason is because with metal detectors, they just, they detect any metal objects such as knives, guns, hammers, etc. Uh, however, the metal detector can go off incorrectly. And essentially what that does is that it would then make your prisoner unhappy because he got searched. Okay, as soon as they put that in, I think I'm gonna open up my intake. Uh, what would we want? I think we just want all normal security. And we want 12 of them. There we go, 12 of them. Get a $6,000 payment in advance, and then I don't know about that. But room quality, grade three. Okay, so that's average. Uh, laundry, yep, food, yep, that should do it. Now we just have to wait for the prisoners to arrive. Okay, so we're about um, an hour away from the prisoners arriving to the prison. I did change the yard a little bit, I added another office. Um, but what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna get a road gate, put one here and put one, I say there, and then build a brick wall so that it's harder for prisoners to escape when they get to this point. And I'll add a staff door here, just in case. What I mean by just in case is, like, we're, since we have the visitor center, visitors are allowed to enter at their free will. Like, they can come in whenever they want. But they can't get through the road gate because a guard, a guard needs to open it. So a staff door will allow any staff to open it for them. Oh. Why? Why just right there, really? Did I get guards? No, I did not hire guards. I'm a dummy. I'm gonna hire three, four guards, and then two cooks. I am really dumb, but why? These guys are dumber, I swear. Or we're equally as dumb. Either way, one of us is dumb. And now we have, uh, what's it called? We have the fog of war taking effect so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna spawn the sh chief i almost said sheriff i'm gonna research deployment and patrols from him uh and i'm also gonna research groundkeeping and that should be it and essentially what that will do is that it will allow me to station guards throughout the prison so we can get rid of this fog of war effect and right now they're all being searched and just in case they have any items that they brought with them on the ooh, pardon me on the prison bus and 
also they're getting their new prisoners closed. As you see, that guy just, the guy brought poison into the prison. Luckily a guard found that and he wasn't able to kill someone or kill himself. Yep, put in prison. Oh, it was a drug, not poison, okay. Or is, okay, so it was him. Yeah, okay, I thought it was, it looked like a poison sign, so I just assumed poison. Did they just, you see what I mean? Okay, what just happened was the detector went off on him. Even though he was just searched over here, he was searched also over here for any objects. Even though he didn't have any. And that, essentially, if you read where the factors are, it can show you five prisoners have been unnecessarily searched recently. That can offer an issue when you do something like a shakedown, I think. Yeah, a shakedown and, or just searching a cell block. Yeah, go prisoner moves. One feels suppressed. Well, I think that's the one that's been put into um, solitary confinement. Zero out of four people are available. Uh, I guess they're working. Wait, what? Doing jobs. Wait, the officers do jobs as well? Wow, I didn't know that. Okay, so we got normal security. Ah, uh, and now everybody's in their assigned cell. I am going to adjust the regime. I'm going to call it that. I'm going to make that lockdown, two-hour shower. Actually, no. Um, going to replace that with free time. Three hours of work. Nope, going to give you an extra E hour. Um, free time, lock up, eat, and actually, no. Free time, work, lock up, sleep. There we go. Essentially, that allows them to do all their business and also help with the prison. They get three hours of free time and they get four hours of work. Yep, that's how I like to run my prisons. Well, I normally run them with like two hours, of, um, two to three hours of work and then the rest of it free time or mostly free time. I still have eat and stuff. Eh. Either way, they're happy. Now we have deployment. Deployment. I like that word. Um, let's see. What are we going to put? I think to get rid of the fog of war effect in here, I'm going to position a guard. I'm not sure, though, if it will get rid of the entire fog of war effect. I got rid of most of it. Okay. Actually, I got rid of all of it. That's perfect. Uh, we also need to put a guard... What else is an important area we need to put a guard? I'm gonna guess this, oh, we got guard patrols as well, okay. So put a guard patrol leading all around to here. There we go, and there we go. Put a guard patrol here. Gonna get rid of you, put one there. There we go, now we got three guards on patrol. Okay, that was weird, what they just did. Uh, we're gonna make this... I am planning to put other people inside the prison, such as low security and high security. So I am gonna have to mark off what is m normal security. Normal security is land. Uh, we're gonna have to put the yard, shower, and canteen. That should do it. And now for staff only, that will be the kitchen. The warden's office. I think that will do. Unlocked, we're gonna have the chapel unlocked. And yeah, so people can go in there anytime. We're also gonna have the um, visitation unlocked. Where's deployment, there it is. There we go, visitation is unlocked. And now they have the free will of going there and talking with their parents about what they've done. Okay, so let's see a co what a couple of these people have done. Three years for possession. Okay, just normal possession. What were you put in here for? 13 years for multiple climbs, intruding. Don't know what that is. And false impressionment. Okay. I, a lot of these I don't know because I don't really pay attention to this. 
uh, went to medical school with a 52 IQ and finished after 10 years of work. Wow. Uh, multiple clients. I don't know what that is. Kidnapping, I do know. And perjury, I think I know. So, yeah. This guy's not entirely good. I, I am going to hire another guard because we have a ton of money. And I don't want to go guardless. Two new guards. There we go. They should be able to handle the capacity of how many prisoners need to be fed. Let's see. As soon as it becomes lunchtime. Actually, I'm moving now. And also with deployment, you need one person in there. There we go. Just in case. Yeah, don't want to spy on them in the shower. Just in case somebody breaks out in a fight in here. This is work time. Oh, yeah, I haven't assigned any of them to work. Whoops. Uh, let's see. Oh, prison labor. Okay, I was waiting on it. Three there. I gotta get rid of this staff thing for the deployment. Sure. Sure. There we go. Uh, and I'm gonna issue the program. This is how. You, your prisoners can get special things like workshop safety they'll allow them to work inside the workshop and you'll be able to generate revenue from that the kitchen safety it allows you to replace cooks with prisoners uh, also spiritual guidance and there we go and as we get more and more unlocked we should be able to get more abilities with our prisoners But anyway, on the note of them eating their delicious breakfast, did it feed all of them? Yes, it did. On the note of them being fed for their delicious breakfast, I'm going to have to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like if you want to see more content like this. Um, comment how to improve my content or what games I should play. Otherwise, uh, subscribe to support Haley and I, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.